YouTube pipe community. It's your buddy D Dub back for another video. I suppose this one is a Yabo. Um, got two packages actually. I've got one from a, uh, a friend of mine who's a tobacconist in Springfield, Missouri, and uh, I'm gonna gonna share you a, a little inside information there. And then I also have two pipes back that I sent off to be reconditioned um, at Blue Briars, which is an excellent place. And so I'd like to show you those pipes and uh, we'll take a look at um, what I ordered from uh, the Albatross, which is the name of the tobacconist in Springfield that provides me with these um, great tobaccos. So let's jump right into it. So the uh, pipes came, I've already opened this one, but the pipes came excellently packaged, really just wonderfully packaged. Um, you always worry, at least I do, when sending off pipes that you know there's gonna be some sort of compromise there. But not only did they have various, you know, packing peanuts in there, but each one was wrapped individually, um, stem separated from the bowl in bubble wrap, and then also placed in a plastic bag here and taped up. Um, and so even, even before we sh show you the pipes, let's talk about the extras, right? They threw in some pipe cleaners. Good guys, right? Also, when I sent these pipes in, they were not in bags. And these aren't amazing bags, but they're nice enough bags and it was a really nice thing um, to you know give me some free bags too so all right let's jump right in I sent off two princes let's see which one this is yeah so this right here dun, 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 is a hard castle this was the first high quality pipe that I ever purchased long long ago and it is looking as good as new I wish I had some uh, before pictures for you guys. I think I do on the other prints, um, but this is uh, a great pipe and I, I, I'm amazed at how well it came out. It's kind of in bad shape. And then this pipe, I do have a before picture of. I got this pipe um, on eBay and it was in bad shape to some degree when I got it. And so it's pretty amazing. This pipe right here, dun, 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 it's another prints. This pipe is a Rad Davis pipe. And I don't think there's a year there, and you're probably not going to be able to read it. Maybe you will. Probably not. Nope. But um, beautiful pipe, wonderful Cumberland stem, and uh, I will show you a uh, before picture of this one. It's amazing how uh, Jesse over at Blue Room, Blue Room Briars really brought these back to life. So wanted to show that, give them a little uh, props for doing that. And now let's jump over to this guy. And I'm going to go ahead. I got my, I got rid of my address. I'm going to show you theirs because I spoke to the gentleman and what he told me was, and this was as of two days ago, today is Sunday. So as of Friday or maybe Thursday, that they still had some McClellan tins left. Um, they still have some bulk stuff too, although they don't have any more red cake. Um, I'm using um, this beautiful KitchenAid knife to open this box here. So the reason I mentioned the name of the tobacconist is because he said he's, you know, happy to take phone orders. So if you guys want to look up the Albatross in Springfield, Missouri, um, he'd be happy to sell you whatever stock he has left, um, including bulks and um, tin tobacco. So, all right, very well packaged. All right, a lot of packaging. All right, here we go. 2015. Eight ounces of McClellan 2015. And smells great. I don't know if you guys can see that. Looks great. Stocking up on this stuff. And this looks like it might not be so new um, as it is. Got myself a big eight ounce bag of 5100. Also smells really good. You guys can see that there. Looks like kind of the bottom of a of a, a barrel or a bag, but uh, he's a trustworthy guy, and um, I know he uses a lot of these for his own blending, and they're changing it all up, but um, out with the old and in with the new, I guess. And then I picked up a, a tin of uh, Wessex um, Red Virginia Flake. Um, enjoyable stuff. So, I will post some pictures um, of uh, the Albatross, which is the tobacconist in Springfield, Missouri, that is waiting to hear from you. Um, the gentleman you want to speak to, his name is Drew, um, and uh, maybe some Blue Rooms Briar stuff too. Um, they have excellent pipes. Jesse Jones is a wonderful carver. I've got two of his pipes, and uh, an excellent restorer. 
and I'll show you a before picture for the Rad Davis. So I think I'm gonna go uh, smoke this guy actually. So I will see you guys later. Be cool.